Hi, I'm Tony Kidd, and I wanted to talk to you about uh, fitting a Ruger 1022 style barrel into a Ruger 1022 style receiver. Uh, it all depends a, a great deal on the dimensions of your, your barrel tenon and your receiver bore. Uh, here at Kidd, we hold our uh, tenons to 687 thousandths, 7 or 8 10 thousandths, which makes us two to three ten thousandths over the nominal 687 thousandths, five ten thousandths of a 11 sixteenths. Uh, the bore of our uh, receivers is held to two tenths under, which is 687 thousandths, three ten thousandths. So we're two tenths under in our receiver, and we're two to three tenths over on our barrels, which gives us about a half a thousandths uh, of an interrupted fit uh, resistance fit. Now <clears throat> that works just fine <clears throat> and normally what you can do is simply put uh, uh, anti-seize compound or a, a good quality grease on your tenon, line it up, make sure you get it lined up good and then you can take a rubber mallet or a rawhide type mallet and tap this onto the barrel. Uh, it'll go right on, it'll be a really good fit, and you won't have any problems. Uh, if you do have bigger tolerances, I, we run across receivers uh, we don't install anymore, but we used to, that would be 686 thousandths, 686 uh, and a half, which, is, which ends up giving you, you know, uh, a thousandth to two thousandths, um, uh, force fit and you just you can't get that you know you can't do that without uh, fitting the barrel <clears throat> there's several ways you can do it and um, first you need to know what your numbers are here we got 687 thousandths seven to ten thousandths on our barrel which is good we've got our bore gauge <clears throat> let me stick that in there I don't know if you can see this or not but this is 687 thousandths and three tenths. If you can see that. I'll try to tip it. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. If you can't, well, you just have to trust me. We're just two tenths under. We hold these very close, and they're all exactly the same. That's a, that's an, somehow, we don't have too big a problem holding that, that bore size exactly what we want it to be. And, um, but you can fit these in several ways. Uh, you can take a, a file and file it as you roll it. You know, that'll help you take the, the diameter down. And you can also put it in a vise and shoe shine it with, you know, 220 wet or dry or something like that. Shoe shine it down. And that'll work fine, but you really need to measure. You need to measure, 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 measure. Because the last thing you want to do is, is create a taper that's shaped this way. Because then by the time you get it started in there and you think it fits, you're going to be really loose. And you're going to have a barrel that wobbles. You know, even if you have a taper going this way towards the end of the breech, at, at least you'll be getting it in there and, you know, and fighting as you go. But, but you'll, you'll get a better fit, but you will be loose out here on the, on the end. So you'll still get some wobble and you won't get that, that fit that you really want. So if you're within a half thousandth, you can tap it on with a mallet. It'll work great. The aluminum will give and, and uh, conform to the barrel just fine. Uh, if you have a little more than that, you can put it in the receiver in the oven. Uh, we'll do that. <clears throat> We've measured it. You know, of course, we have 687 thousandths, three tenths. We're going to put it in the oven at 250 degrees. And we're probably going to see a thousandth to a thousandth and a half uh, growth of that hole. It will expand. It's probably going to be, you know, a thousandth, two tenths, something like that, which is pretty normal we see. But um, when we're this close, we'll go right on and we'll just, we'll just fit it right up. And we'll show you how that works. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Trying to move as quickly as I can. 
we're at six eight eight three so we got a one thousandths uh, increase in size so here we are get it really close tap it on good to go just let it cool you don't have to worry about lining it up it'll uh, we'll line it up in the vise we'll put this in a padded vise we'll put a level across the flat and then we'll put a level across the back of the receiver and we'll get it lined up. But it's that easy. Like I said, you can, if it's dry, if you're close enough, you can tap it on. If not, put it in the oven, it'll expand. Um, when it does expand, it often, it may not expand perfectly round. It'll expand, it may be a little bit uh, oblong or something like that. But it really aids in, in putting the barrel on. And like I say, you just tap it right on. No problems. Um, I hope this helped. I'll set up again over the vise so I show you how to square everything up.